Hello there, everybody. I wanted to do a quick review over the Horizons Math Level 3 for third grade. This is what my son uses for his homeschooling. I have, it comes, I got the package only because I do different um, things for his actual curriculum, but I really like the math for from Horizons. It comes with the package if you get the bundle for the math. It comes with math book one, book two, and the teacher's guide. And as you can tell, the teacher's guide is pretty thick. It comes with 554 pages and it comes with reviews with um, everything in there. So first let's go ahead and look through Horizons math book number one. On number one, it comes with let's see the beginning. And it starts with lesson one. In lesson one, it's very colorful. It's only still in third grade, it's only one page front and back. And it's pretty easy. It takes about, say, 20 to 30 minutes for a child. Sometimes maybe more if you wanna do the extra worksheets. Lesson two, as you can tell, they're working with time. For instance, this is lesson 20. Very extremely colorful. I like this for my son. And we usually work on the board, on the blackboard or the magnetic board if he needs any kind of explanation for it, which he does. And that's the reason you have your math teacher's guide. So it correlates, you do the lesson 20 on the math and you do the lesson 20 right here. And then also there's some extra worksheets for each of the lessons if they, your child needs a little bit more of extra help. So at the end of half of the year, they should be with write the bills and coins receive as change. So like this, multiplication, tenths, the Arabic numbers, um, the sums, multiplications again, then write two words problem using English linear measurements. So. It's just, I really enjoyed, have enjoyed working with um, Horizons Math. The second, this is Math, Math Book 2. Same thing. Each of the books have, for instance, this one has 80 lessons. So if you do one of those a day, you have a total of 160 lessons. So for me that I have to do a total of 180 days for school, I should be done 20 days in advance for math. And with that, that should either, I could jump him to Horizons 4 or else we could work on the extra worksheets that are given in the math teacher's guide. Depending on what you wanna do, and then also that's not cor corresponding to um, field trips, things like that. So on field trips days, usually we don't do homeschooling. We do some kind of nature studies or things, depending whatever correlates, correlates to the home, to the um, field trip that we did. So it has a lot of like, I really like it. It has, you know, um, stories. So at the end of your third grade, your child should be, you know, finding the sums of fractions high number subtraction, the differences, the tenths, division, and other ratios as fractions. Next, we have your Horizons Math Teacher's Guide. The Math Teacher's Guide is really thick and it, because it's really in depth. It tells you, I would recommend for you to go through the front first and read it. It has right here before you start for you to evaluate your child to see if he's even this level. He may be higher, he may be lower, you don't know. Um, 
right here there's teacher lessons that you go by the answer keys some the extra worksheets and the worksheets the answer key for it for instance right here it explains what you need to do the readiness evaluation is right here this is the answer key and this is the actual test so you would have your child do this like that and then grade him after you grade him it will tell you right here exactly what kind of where exactly he should be at right here is preparing the lesson how you need to prepare it what extra things you may need if you even need them i mean a lot of the stuff i did not get i just substituted with things that i had already at the house i didn't want to get extra stuff um right here is the scope and the sequence the scope and the sequence of where they should be and here's the manipulatives that you're going to need Here's the worksheets, where you need to work, um, use them. So for instance, if they're in this lesson, lesson eight, um, that you would get number four. So that's in case your child needs extra. He didn't understand it. There's more stuff that you could work with him on. So for instance, on lesson three, it tells you the concept, the objectives for you, the teacher, the teaching tips, what you could do, the materials that you may need to explain the, um, the actual material, the activities that you could do with him. And that's it. You would get the lesson three. You would go to your worksheet. So for lesson three, there's nothing, there's no extra worksheet, but say for instance, lesson four, you, um, not that one, lesson five, sorry guys. Lesson five, you would go to here, then you would go to the page, so it would be page number four for the extra worksheet and you would go to your worksheets and here's worksheet four so there's different um worksheets that you could go ahead and have and here's the answer sheet for the actual um math book and that's it. it it really i really enjoy this book because it has difference of everything it has it's, it's a spiral it's, this is called think a spiral method and it jumps you know it teaches one concept then it goes back again then it keeps going back and forth back and forth but it makes sure the child learns it the first it's you know um the, the more and the more they, they keep doing it is the easier that it's going to get so that's this is the actual um, Horizons package with three books, Math Book 1, 2, and The Teacher's Guide. And that's it. I think it's about uh, between $70 and $80 depending on when you get it. I know in April, Horizons, um, I think Hor the AOP website, homeschooling website, they usually have, and sometimes Christian, Christian's, um, Christian book, they usually have like a percentage off for homeschooling parents in April. So keep an eye out on that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little overview of the Horizons Math program. And I will talk to you guys later, okay? Talk to you guys later. Bye.